First of all, you will notice that I've removed the trap door of the detector so that we can have a good view of the buttons we'll need to push inside as well as looking at the screen. So to perform this function, I'll need to scroll over to the, the menu with the flow parameters on the screen. The first icon indicates whether auto learn is in progress of the smoke thresholds. The second icon across indicates that auto learn of flow is in progress and the third icon indicates that the normalization of the flow is in progress. So the first task that we will do is to normalize the detector by setting a baseline of the flow thresholds by using a pencil such as this onto the auto config button here. And we do that by holding the button down for a period of five seconds. During this time, an LED will illuminate inside the detector and the subsequent normalization LED will indicate on the front of the detector. You can see this icon is now active. To cancel the normalization process, I could just push the button again for another five seconds and the procedure has stopped. The normalization process generally takes five minutes when left to initiate by itself. Okay, you'll notice that I've connected my USB cable to the detector. I'll be using this, so I'll be using my VSC software to invoke the auto learn flow thresholds function from my laptop. And once I do this, you'll notice that the auto learn flow thresholds icon and the normalizing icon will be active. Now with the command from the laptop, the auto learn flow thresholds is in effect. I could let this run for the period of 14 days or I could set the period to a different amount of time and I could also cancel it by using the laptop as well. So I'll send the cancellation command now. You can see the command has now been cancelled. Now I'll be sending an auto learn smoke thresholds command from my laptop and you'll see the smoke thresholds icon illuminate. You can see now the detector is in the auto learn smoke thresholds mode and will continue to learn the background smoke levels for a period preset of 14 days or I can simply cancel that command using my laptop. This command has now been cancelled.